I'll be replacing the original guide pulley and the tension pulley on a Dura-Ace RD7700 derailleur. High quality pulleys can last a long time. 20 years ago, this was Shimano's top of the line derailleur. These pulleys have about 30,000 miles on them. For easier access, I'll remove the rear wheel, open the brakes, shift to the smallest chain ring and the smallest cog. Half the battle is getting the correct parts. I've downloaded a couple PDFs from Shimano's website. It can be helpful if you get confused about how things were taken apart, and it's helpful for part numbers and interchangeability. The service instructions are also usually available. They are a big help if you're trying to teach yourself how to do your own repairs. Before taking anything apart, be aware that the pulleys may not be identical. The guide pulleys, that's the top one on the derailleur, on both this Altegra 6500 and the 7700 Dura-Ace derailleur, have side-to-side -side play. This is normal. The guide pulley will also sometimes be printed on it G pulley. The new replacement set don't say G pulley on them. One of them doesn't wiggle back and forth. I know that's the tension pulley. The guide pulley wiggles back and forth. Here's a $10 set of pulleys. They have bushings instead of bearings. The pulley to the right is a $30 set. It has a higher quality plastic and it has sealed bearings. So I don't get anything mixed up. I'll just change one pulley at a time. Let's do the guide pulley first. I'd like to take a moment to make a point on how important it is to change your chain. My chains last about four to 5,000 miles. The points on the old pulley are almost the same size as those on the new one. As the chain gets older, the bushings in the chain start to egg out, making it longer. And what it'll do is, is it will make these semicircles a lot larger and it'll do so on any gears including your cogs or the chain rings so it's cheaper to change your chain than to change those other parts. I've noticed that there is residue from thread locker on the end of the bolt so I'll use some medium strength thread locker that's the type that you can break loose with tools. I've used a toothpick to put a bit of thread locker into the threads I'm just going to snug this up. Uh, I don't see any specs for torque. You don't want to overdo it because you could easily strip this out. The new pulley has some little ramps on it, so it's directional. On one side of the tension pulley, there are arrows for chain direction. 
I'll face the side with the arrows away from the rear wheel. When pedaling forward, the arrows point in the same direction that the chain is moving. The pulleys spin freely. And there's how you change out a pulley set on a rear derailleur. I hope you found this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated. Click on the channel name, Know How Now, to find other videos. And thanks for watching.